Hello, hello, and welcome back to another reading here with me, Soulful. How are you guys? I hope you're enjoying your weekend, your holiday weekend, for some of you. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we've got two signs left here for my deck. This has been interesting. Me basically pulling cards randomly without choosing beforehand. So we've only got two signs left, which I believe are Sagittarius and Capricorn. So let's see who we're going to pull for. Oh. We're going to pull for Capricorn. Okay, so Sagittarius, you're last on the list. <laughs> um, and we're going to go ahead and see what's up with Cappy. Okay. All right, my beautiful Capricorns or cross watchers. Down below is all the information you need about me, including where you can follow me on IG, TikTok, which is actually quite empty. I don't really use TikTok that much. Um, my IG where you can come communicate with me. A lot of my followers that, uh, regulars have come and followed me on my Instagram. And, uh, you can also book a personal reading with me down below. You'll see that information very easy. You just buy it straight from my website and, uh, yeah, they're very good prices right now. I keep them affordable. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, Capricorn. Let's take a look. We're going to pull three cards here for your current energies. Um, and then we're going to take a little frolic through the Capricorn woods with my tarot. Oh, what is this? What is this energy? Something secretive, something forest. Why? Okay, strategy. Oh, so you guys may be in your head. Uh, you may be planning something here. Yes, I love this goat, goat energy. Woman holding a coin in the reverse. Tell me more. Tell me more. What is this? Okay. Cornucopia in the reverse. <sighs> okay, so Capricorn. We have on the bottom of the deck, patience in the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is all about planning for your stability. You guys right now are having a bit of a hard time. I feel like here with the woman holding a coin in the reverse about offering your own stability out to others. I feel like some of you guys want to help someone. Yes, I'm hearing you want to help someone, but the way you're doing this is actually planning for them or helping them to get a hold of their own stability because you already recognize here that someone may have a hard time with money. This could be you, all right, Cappy? You could be having a bit of a tough time seeing your blessings come in and you may be growing a bit impatient here with uh, patience on the bottom of the deck. It will come in time. I just heard that. I just heard that from spirit. It will come in time. There's something that you're growing very impatient over when it comes to money. And you may be trying to find loopholes or avenues um, about this. So let's go ahead and start diving in with tarot. If those cards resonated with you and you feel like this was your energy. Tell me. Tell me about Captain Cappy. <laughs> Tell me about Captain Capricorn. Okay, more, more planning energy. So this is strategy. So I'm hearing that your, your, your planning that you have going on right now, it's very sound. It's very, very sound, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. You guys may be planning an offer because you just weren't ready to offer yet. Ooh, five of cups. Okay, tell me more. Oh, seven of cups in the reverse. Yeah, your 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 strategy is very sound. I feel like that maybe a bit of you are trying to get out of this spilled milk energy. Like you you are taking a look at the past here and seeing, okay, I had a lot of disappointments about this specific person, situation, situation ship, some of you guys. I'm hearing that as well.
The decision you made here with the Seven of Cups in reverse was to never allow something to affect this part of your life again. It's a very dark place. I think you guys were in a dark place for a while monetarily. Someone may have been draining your money and it was time for you to make a decision and to plan for the future. Tell me more about this woman holding a coin in the reverse. Something definitely affected your finances. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Okay, so in the present, we have you, you know, accessing the Queen of Swords aspect, which is boundary lines, putting your, you know, like, okay, I, I need to be smart about this is what I'm hearing. I got to be smart about this individual. Yeah, another person is coming up in your energy here. Okay, with the, whenever I see a King of Swords or Queen of Swords having pertaining to an, a person or another person in your life, I automatically think boundaries, smart talk um dealings okay um yeah success here with the six of wands getting more of a successful you're 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 gonna win okay by accessing this aspect here with the queen of swords this air energy you're gonna win over this situation that has to do with the uh, abundance the chariot in reverse oh shit sorry sorry cappy um Wow. And then we have on the bottom of the deck, five of wands. So definite competition or conflict that you just want to avoid. There was an out of control situation that involved a person. You guys weren't, you weren't planning, uh, you weren't planning on being so disappointed by someone. And they affected your stability, whether that's inner, outer, okay? Your, it could be money. It could be your home. Some of you, your car, okay, <laughs> was affected. Um, but yeah, Capricorn, I feel like you're going to win over here. with the, you're, you're, you're taking a Queen of Swords approach. So this is, you're being smart now. Because you're now seeing, okay, I got a plan for the future. I need to plan for the future here. Uh, let's take a look at cornucopia in the reverse. Why is this in the future here? You grew really impatient with somebody. Ooh, six of cups. What? What? What the? This is interesting. The moon. <laughs> Queen of cups. Oh, yeah, this is definitely about love, okay? There's definitely something here about love. <sighs> wow. Reunion. I had a feeling when I, the minute I saw that six of cups, okay, three of cups here. So this is for someone who is still attached to someone in the past. This is for a Capricorn that you felt like a relationship or a person that you were connected to. In the past, there, was, there wasn't much strategy. There was no planning around the relationship. And now you're getting smart about how you handle this person. And I feel like what's going to happen here in the future is the realization that you just can't live without this person. They may have actually been hiding it here with the moon. There is there is emotional overflow that you have been waiting to happen, uh, a reunion with someone, some joy uh, around the corner, someone that you care about greatly. Could be a water sign here. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. We have more cancer. We also have air. We have earth. <sighs> this is heavy energy that I'm feeling. This is very emotional. Five of swords underneath that. Ace of swords in the reverse. I'm hearing that someone is willing to fight. Fight, really, really willing to fight for a connection. 
but in the past there was just no planning there was nothing there was something chaotic about it that took you out of your element that now um we're taking a look at a future of real is someone coming to realization could be the other person coming to realization that they want to be around you that they crave you they crave your emotions they crave being with you something addictive about you i'm also hearing who is this person who, who is this person tell me about this person for capricorn tell me about this person for capricorn Tell me about this person for Capricorn. Oh, hold on. The card went flying. Okay, we've got Nine of Swords in the reverse. Oh my. Sorry about that. Okay. Tell me more about this person. The world. <laughs> Oh my. And then five of wands again. Yeah, there's definitely a need to... S someone here is going to fight for this connection. Okay, someone's changing big time in the future here. <sighs> Get out of your head, Charles. What is that from? Someone was way too... Someone was very good at creating scenarios that don't exist with the moon to the world, okay? And they're changing, okay? They're realizing that you care for them and they need to come, they need to, come to you is what I'm hearing. You're not, you're not worried about, you're not going to worry about this anymore. You don't want to be sad about this anymore. You're, you're only going to take the truth, okay? <coughs> you're going to take the truth there could be some real fighting here between you and this person i mean with five of wands and five of swords a minute ago there was something worth battling over and i feel like it's this relationship and where it's actually going tell me more about this person tell me more how do they feel how they currently feel about Capricorn. I feel like they've been hiding it. They've been hiding how they feel about you. <sighs> Three of Pentacles. This person was unstable. Okay. Knight of Swords. They're going to come in and tell you they've been working on themselves. Yeah, Eight of Wands. They're going to come in with communication. Fast. Okay, when I see a Knight of Wands with the Eight of Wands, <laughs> that is like, boom. Okay, it, it, it's going to come in when probably when you least expect it here. And they're going to start telling you how they feel about you. Um, wow, I feel like this person definitely has been hiding how they feel. They, they're angry at themselves, I'm hearing. One moment. 2 30 uh my alarm just went off here yeah they're, they're angry about themselves there's something they they're they're upset about something they knew they had to work on what is this with the three of pentacles the star <sighs> wow and then we have the wheel okay the wheel of fortune i feel like this is a faded Okay, this is a fated, this is a, this is a soul tie, a soul connection. And someone has finally been doing the work on themselves that they've been like not wanting to do. Okay, I, I think that someone's going to come forward and quickly try to tell you, you know, I'm changing. I want to work on this. I want to work on us. Okay, with the star here, they, they, they really feel like they've changed with the world and the star they they feel like they have come into a place of healing where they can actually communicate with you cappy and tell you that they're sorry perhaps um with that queen of cups um tell me more how does how does cappy feel about this person you've, you've been growing definitely impatient with them 
Um, you're you're ready. Oh my goodness. You I, I hear some of you guys have been waiting for this because you've been planning. Uh four cups in the reverse. You have an offer for them, they have an offer for you. There's something about reconnecting emotionally with them. <sighs> Knight of Wands. Okay, you still have passion for this individual. One more. Five of Swords in the reverse. Oh my goodness. There's something about the way that you guys fight. The way that you guys... Th th there's been a lot of infighting between both of you. And this is someone you've known from the past. Uh, th I'm definitely getting the soul connection vibe here for you. They're going to come in. They're going to tell you, hey, uh, you know, what's up, Cappy? <laughs> I still have feelings for you. And I've been hiding it. Uh, I've been fighting it. Th this person fights their own feelings. But you guys, look at this. High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. I think you've known all this time. I think you have known all this time that this person has had feelings for you. And they've been hiding it. They've been... And, and you've been growing impatient, wondering when they're going to get the clue, okay, that you already know how they feel. Whew. Yeah, Nine of Wands, you know, wanting to fight for this, wanting to... This person hasn't been doing much, Nine of Pentacles here in the reverse. So you've been wanting to fight for this, but you've been waiting for them to actually step forward and say, okay, I've changed. Um, and if you haven't been waiting, some of you guys I'm hearing, you've been planning, you've been strategizing for your future. And meanwhile, behind the scenes, you didn't know this person was actually growing more fond of you by the day. And now they're actually about to reveal to you something. They're about to tell you, I've changed. <laughs> tell me, tell me about this star energy when it comes to uh, possible changes. I mean, with the world to the star here, yes, we have Hangman. The fool. I saw six of pentacles, which is them learning to to understand here that um, they need to exchange energy equally with you. Ten of wands in the reverse. <sighs> you had this person in a position. Here we go. Page of cups. This po this poison poison um this person is loyal i feel like with this page of cups they have a lot of emotion towards you and they don't but they, they hide it okay they, but they have deep emotion i feel like here with the ten of wands in in reverse they finally learned something with the hangman in reverse like they were put forcefully perhaps even by their guides or source itself okay to reflect deeply on their own energy here and when the fool appeared they were like okay i gotta start over this person really has learned the value of releasing burdens and they're gonna come forward someone is coming forward to you cappy whoever this is hitting home for and they have emotion Okay, they have feelings and they want to work this out, like, for real. Okay, and you guys will know who this individual is. It's, it's someone from your past that you have a connection with that hides how they feel. You may be more of the analytical one. I'm hearing this. You may be more analytical, but also more observant. And this person's energy feels a lot more young to me, it seems like someone who has just come to a state of consciousness where they're realizing that they can start over, that they don't have to be the same way forever. Now, let's take a look at Romance Angels. That's quite fascinating. Whatever you've been growing impatient about, and <laughs> I feel like you're about to get it. You're about to get what you need. Tell me more. Tell me more. Romance Angels here for Cappy. We have Flirt. Oh man, extend your life. Erdin. Yeah, this person you'll know because they'll be flirting with you. They're get, they may come in under the guise of flirting with that page of cups. Come in and be like, hey, <laughs> how's it going? You know, and pretending like nothing ever happened in the past between both of you. This person may come in quite playfully here with this flirty kind of energy. Um <laughs> I'm hearing some of you guys are going to play into it. 
okay, with this Seven of Swords, you may be like, okay, fine, this is where we're going with it. All right, fine. I guess I guess I'll flirt back. Um, tell me more. True love. <sighs> this is the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> they really love you. Okay, you guys really love each other, whoever this person is. Um, and they've changed. They've realized how they feel. They want to express it to you. They want to tell you. They want to freaking tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tell me more. Tell me more. My music just started playing on my headphones. I had to pause it. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah. And then we have forgiving and learning on the bottom of the deck. So there's something that you're finally forgiving them for or they're forgiving you for, okay? And I, I think that we're coming to a stage in this relationship where both of you are going to feel like it's time. It's time to be truthful. It's time to be honest. It's time to express how we feel. Um, because without you in my life, I'm hearing this with the cornucopia, um, we have two, three, seven on the watch, okay? Numbers two through seven. With the with the cornucopia here, you guys are you feel a little bit lost without this person. Okay. And I think you're gonna tell them and they're gonna tell you, like there's gonna be an outpouring of emotion that has been hidden for quite a long time that needs to come out. I love that. So let's see what the moon has to say. What advice do we have for Capricorn? What advice do we have for Capricorn in this situation? We have balanced spirituality and practicality, Pisces energy. You're hoping to balance things with this person. And I think then with you, this person has been on a spiritual journey or at least a deeper understanding of who they are, a time for healing. They're going to come in with something that heals the situation that you've needed to either hear for a long time, whether it's how they feel or an apology or something like that. They're coming in. One more card. We have communication. Okay. Communication is key. So here they come. Here they come, Capricorn. Whoever this person is could be Gemini as well. For all the signs, we have every sign here, all right? Every sign. I'm being told to pull one more. Uh, advice how to handle this for Capricorn. Advice how to handle this and receive this blessing when this person comes in. Snip. Here is a, a sharp tool. Here may be one with a sharp tongue. Here may be separation or alteration. Here may be trimming and snipping or nipping in the bud. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so you guys fight a lot. I feel like you and this person have had a lot of disagreements, a lot of uh, arguments, or just not seeing eye to eye on something. You may have done, tried to do, or have done some kind of ritual where you got rid of the past. You, you got rid of the... Um, the emotions you felt that were going in circles, okay? Some of you guys did nip that in the bud. You realized that maybe it was you or there's something about this person. Uh, they realized, oh my God, it's been me this entire time. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to go to the obvious here. Some of you guys may have been engaging in cord cutting, um, energetic cord cutting between you and this individual to try and make the situation go away, but it just didn't, which is telling me there's some kind of lesson here to be learned or a soul tie between you and this individual, a connection that's deeper than your regular connection. And maybe it didn't work and you don't know why. Well, because the lesson isn't over or this person is meant to be in your life. Okay. Especially with this uh, world card here. I feel like this person has a purpose in your life. There is a purpose. There's a reason that they're coming back around. And I think that you're about to either get an apology, get the emotions. There may be some fighting between both of you. I'm hearing nip that in the bud. Okay. Uh, they may come in trying to, under they're definitely going to come in 
This is how you'll know. They're definitely going to come in lighthearted. They're going to come in and be all like, oh yeah, nothing ever happened between us. We're good. Um, and they're going to kind of maybe treat the apology or the, you know, let's not fight in a very lighthearted manner that might get you a bit. It might, it might actually make you kind of go, is that, is that how you're going to act about this? Situation? <laughs> so Capricorn, that is up to you. Whether you allow the fighting to continue or you're going to take a new path. Let's see, what else do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We have green light. Yeah, you have looked to the left and looked to the right. No obstacles can be seen. You are now directed to go forward. Now you must proceed. So what are you planning? What have you planned? Is there something you want to say to this person? Because right now it is being given the green light for both of you to have contact. Let's pull one more. You know, you guys, three is my number, right? Autumn, here's the harvest we reap, what we've shown here, our consequences. Here's a good time to take the time to be grace grateful for all of our blessings. Here may be one born under autumn skies. So yeah, I feel like you guys may have not heard from this person since fall. Or, uh, you know, they're going to reach out in the fall. Um, either way, it's going to happen. Cappy, it's going to happen, Captain Cappy. All right. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading and take it easy.